Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to do a basic recording on Prat. Uh, this tutorial is going to serve as the baseline uh, for doing your assignment for the class as well. So when you um, open Prat in your computer, um, the icon looks like that. Uh, it's like a small mouth sign and a small ear sign and it's kind of like reddish pink in color once you open prod um there are two uh, windows that would open up the first that says prod objects that's usually to the left side of your screen and then you have prod picture towards the right side of your screen now for all purposes of our task today we are not going to be using the prod picture therefore i am going to just close it to unclutter and now all i have remaining is the prod objects now what i need to do to record a new file is i need to click on new and then under that click on record mono sound okay so I'm gonna click on that and what it does is that it would open a second um, window that says sound recorder right here and as you notice this is not yet recording so what you do need to do is make sure that you have certain parameters set for example the channel should be set to mono um, in this case, I'm using my computer audio, so my input source is going to be MacBook Pro computer microphone, but if you are using a um, separate headphone microphone device, then your input sh source should say that. Now, on the other side, you see something called as the sampling frequency. So uh, we are going to leave it where it is. It's typically preset at 44,100 hertz. We are going to leave it at that. Um, and then what we are going to do is rename our sound. So we are going to be recording a sound where we will be phonating uh, as long as we can, okay? So I'm going to rename the file or name the file as sound ah okay and from there on um i hit the button that says record on the bottom left side of your screen and then i click on that and now i'm going to take a deep breath and phonate ah in my normal pitch for as long as i can so ready one two three uh, and then i hit stop and once that is done if you notice the button at the bottom of your screen that says save to list that gets activated or that gets lights up so um, we are going to hit on save to list you could also hit on save to list and close if that's the only sound that you're recording so in this case I'm not going to be recording another sound right now so I'm going to hit to save to list and close and there you have it your under your objects you'll see your newly recorded sound which is your sound ah okay now i'm going to click on that and when it's selected it turns blue like this like how it's turned in my screen right now from there i'm going to move to these number of buttons that's on the right side of the box and i'm going to click on the one that's pre-selected that says view and edit so I'm going to click on that. And what you're seeing here is a waveform, a waveform of what you just recorded. So in this case, um, we have the vowel A. Uh. The reason why we know this is a waveform 
is because on your x-axis we see the time and on your y-axis we are looking at frequency now when you click on um, view and edit this big window opens up with the waveform on it and if and you will notice that your cursor has now changed into a plus sign like this okay um, all you need to do here is select a portion of your utterance or your sound that you have recorded and drag your cursor and when you do that notice this portion lights up as pink now all you need to do here from this portion is get some data data regarding what the pitch of my uh, sound was or what the pitch of your recorded portion of the sound was so to do that is pretty easy uh, if you notice on the top of this column or on the top of this um, window if you will there is a row of buttons that says file edit query go up until you hit the button that says pitch and click on that okay and then you need to scroll down all the way to where it says get pitch and you click on that and uh, that should give you the get pitch so let me make a small adjustment to my selection here so another cool thing about this um, uh, this app is that you can zoom in or zoom out to any portion of your um, waveform so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be zooming in by clicking on the bottom left button that says in so if you click on in it zooms in if you click on out it zooms out okay so what i'm going to do is basically try and select a shorter portion because the error it gave me before was that it was way too long so i'm going to click on a shorter portion again and drag my cursor and then i go to pitch again and then I do get pitch and there you have it so they will show you uh, the app or the software is going to show you the pitch of your recorded utterance so here we have a pitch of 207.05 and that is my pitch for um, the sound that I just made now uh depending on whether you're creating a high pitched or low pitch sound this can change however um there is a certain range based on um the gender and so um this pitch is representative of that now this information if you notice is also available via this blue line on the bottom of your screen right there so if i did wanted to know what was my average pitch across that utterance or across that sound that is going to be 207 hertz okay and there you go that's exactly how you get the pitch of um of a recording uh, you could also uh, get a range as to how much did the pitch vary across um, the uh, production. And so for that, you do click on pitch again and then do get minimum pitch. And that's going to show you the minimum or the lowest pitch value that happened during your production. And then you can also... And let's get the maximum pitch here so the lowest pitch in this case was 204.99 and you can click on pitch and do get maximum pitch and that'll give you the highest 
pitch recorded in that selection. So in this case, it was 208.5 hertz. So there you go. That's how you get the pitch range. That is the lowest pitch, the highest pitch, as well as um, your uh, mean or average pitch level as well. Another cool thing about this analysis is that if you do uh, look at this uh, bottom screen, you'll notice that a number of lines are going through. And these are basically what are called as your resonance bands or formants. What we are interested in in this case is, of course, um, the darkest line at the bottom that's right here. Um, and that gives us our fundamental frequency or the frequency of vocal fold vibration um, that sets in. And anything that you get on top of that are basically your harmonics to the fundamental frequency or your formant frequencies. We are not going to talk about that too much um, right now, but this is a brief tutorial as to how you can get pitch for your utterance. Um, you can get pitch, your minimum and maximum pitch for any utterance that you record. And that brings us to the end.